do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity. So this is part two of the Wii modding tutorial series where in part one I showed you how you could prepare your hard drive to put Nintendo Wii games on there. This is the second part and the last part of the series where I show you now how do you take what you've done already, the, the Nintendo Wii games on the USB hard drive and connect it to your Wii and start playing it like a boss. So I'm going to go over three different programs today just to make it easier for a tutorial discussion. And the first program we're going to talk about is USB Loader GX. So if you go to this website in the more info section, you can go ahead and download the latest version. In order to do that, what you can do is click on this USB Loader GX link here. This is off their blog. And then you can download um, the latest version by clicking on this website and then it'll take you to this I highly recommend you get the installer that'll make your life so much easier so you can use the 1.8 installer and then you can go ahead and get the latest version of the DOL in the future and then the next program is called open we flow mod see the link in the more info section basically to get the latest version go to show all down here and then you can download what I recommend is downloading the zip file here the latest zip file and then you can extract it to your apps card which I'll show you in a, in a little bit here and then the last program if you want is the configurable USB loader mod so what you can do is well let me open this in a new link here so this right here is the original so you can download if you go to downloads here click on show all you can download the main zip file that has the base 70 version and then if you go to the other link here you can download any uh, uh, subsequent updates so the bottom line guys is once you get your programs inside your apps folder you'll see um, the way I've done it here so here's the CFG loader this is the USB loader GX and this is also the Wii flow program if you guys think it's useful I can add those three programs into a, a zip file and put it on Mediafire and you guys can download that but the thing is these programs are updated all the time so I recommend that you know exactly where the website is so that you can update on your own without me having to do all the grunt work every single day so that's how you get started you put the apps onto your SD card. So with that said, let's jump straight into the other portion of the video tutorial where we're going to connect the Wii um, hard drive to the Wii with the SD card and show you all three programs. I'll give you a crash course in all of them. So let's do this. All right, here we are at the main menu. So let's go to the homebrew channel. And let me show you three different programs we're going to go over today. I'm going to do a, a crash course in all three. Just show you a little bit of each so you have an idea of what the games or what the programs look like. So let's go ahead with the first one. This is USB Loader GX. This is actually the very first USB loader that I tried on my own before I investigated other solutions. So I'll talk about this one first, and then we'll talk about WeFlow second, and then we'll talk about the USB um, configurable loader later on. So this is what this interface looks like. It's pretty simple. If you want to download new cover art, press the number one on your controller, and you can say cover download for whatever. So I'm not gonna do that right now. If you want to change the view, you can go up here, click on a different grid style, or you can click on this style right here, for example. And you can use your arrow keys to move around. If you select the game, it plays some music here. Yeah, nice. And then uh, you can do whatever you want. You can set up filters, um, all different kinds of things. You go down here to the gears button. You can mess around with the settings. Yes, you can download themes and change your theme of the program you want. So you can do that. Go ahead and mess with it on your own time. And then uh, if you had a, a game inserted, like a disc, Yes, you can rip it to your hard drive by clicking on this button right here, the disk icon. So let's go ahead and let's jump into the next program. And you click on that button there, it takes you to the homebrew launcher, which is pretty cool. And let's go ahead and take a look at the WeFlow program uh, next here. Now, there's a lot of people, a lot of gamers that like to use the WeFlow, uh, WeFlow program for whatever reason. I, in particular, don't like it too much, but don't let my judgment inf uh, influence your judgment. So this is what the program looks like. So here's all the games. If you want to download cover art, basically what you got to do is go to the gears icon down here and say download covers and titles and say download, you know, whatever is missing or download all and you're good to go. So that's one thing you can do here. You can mess around with the options. You can install a game from a disc here. And then if you can also, I thought there was a way, but... Um, I thought you could download a theme for this uh, Wii Flow, so you could probably do that, but I can't find an option. I could be mistaken. Anyways, if you click on the help button here, here's all the different commands for this program if you're you know, trying to figure out what all the different buttons do. So there you go with that. And then here you can do a favorite here, so if you have any favorite games, you can do that too. 
Um, yes, this also plays GameCube games and so does the USB Loader GX. Actually, all the USB Loader programs featured today will play USB games. If you click on a particular game here, you can see the back of the box by holding letter A. Nice. Okay, so we had enough of that. And then um, that's pretty much it for now. So let's go back home and let's go to exit. And the next portion of this video is we're going to jump straight into the USB configurable uh, loader program. Alright, so let's go back to the homebrew channel real quick here. Alright, so let's go to right here until we find my program here. We'll configurable USB loader and then click on load. Now this program is nice. I want to say it's like a combination of almost all the other two programs I talked about previously. So it has a lot of good integration and it might be the best out there. But if there's a program you like, by all means go for it. So we see that some of the cover art didn't download correctly. How do we fix this, right? So you click on this gears icon and say um, updates and let's say download missing covers. And then it's going to proceed to download all the different covers for all the games that are missing. It's pretty nice and quick. So let's go ahead and bear with this for a little second, uh, for a couple seconds here. Now, in the meantime, this is a nice program. You can you can rip a game from a disc to your hard drive. You can do that. You can also play GameCube games. Um, I do believe if you wanted to, you could also include your regular uh, NAND channels from the Wii. So like your emulators, you can import that into here. You have three or four or five different ways of viewing your games. It's ridiculous. And then there's also a lot of different uh, themes you can download for this program. And of course, you got this sexy game music in the background right now. I think you can change the music, but I haven't tried it just yet. So, now some of these games here, I don't know why it didn't update yet. So I'll take a look into that later. But you can see that the majority of the games here has the cover art, which is fine. Okay. Um, if you want to change the style, you can go to... Uh, well, this is the sort options, but there's a way to... Oh, here we go. You press the up button on your controller, and that's how you can change the style here. Um, sorry about the images. I'll fix the images later. And then if you click on a particular game, this is what it looks like. You can go through the information. You can go to manage. You can do cheats. You can do options, whatever you want. And um, that's how you use this program. Like I said, guys, experiment. I don't want to go through every, every single option in all these programs. But at least you have an idea of how this works. So if you like this type of video, please like, favorite, and subscribe so that hopefully one day we can get to the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you've got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.